If you're working in an agile project, you probably have a backlog somewhere, a product backlog. So let me tell you something about what I believe is important about the, the shape of a back, backlog, which is that sh backlogs should be nice and short. You probably know that a backlog is this ordered, prioritized list of requirements, broadly speaking, and that it can be super long because many people have awesome ideas and many, many awesome ideas. And you might be familiar with this iceberg principle whereby, you know, there's a handful of really important, really valuable uh, requirements, user stories, that you'll be working on really soon. And that should be really re well written. They should be properly scoped. They should be properly estimated. They should have decent acceptance criteria, etc., etc. And then you have a bunch of stuff down here that is just much less pressing and much less urgent. And you should not expend the same amount of care for this bottom half that you do for the first, for, for the upper half. Because it's going to be changing anyway. You're going to learn something along the way. Um, so focus your energy on the stuff that needs to be worked on now and work on the rest of the stuff later on once it makes its way up in terms of priority. And that means at some point, you're even sort of falling out of the bottom of the backlog. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think you should have a backlog that is longer than, let's call it six months or something. Doesn't really matter how, how long it is concretely, but don't expend too much energy coming up with like the thousandth entry of your backlog. There's no value in that. It's going to change anyway. You're going to learn new things anyway. So in instead of doing that, make all of the awesome ideas you have down here part of your roadmap, which is, of course, sort of related to your backlog, but it's longer term, it's less precise, it's more vague. So you should have a, a backlog, and it has a certain length, and then at some point it should sort of turn into this roadmap. And while well, in the backlog everything is very nice and precise, in the roadmap, things will become much more amorphous and elastic. And that's exactly how it should be. So that you can focus on what's important now. And at the same time, by the way, be sure that you have a clear enough, but not confining understanding of the road ahead for you know, for the next couple of years, even if you have a complex product, but don't think you need to write a backlog for the next couple of years. Dear God, no.